Some random dude ran up on stage. That's just crazy. Tackled Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl. He had, they said the gun wasn't real. The gun was a replica gun that in a knife blade can't, would come out of it. So that's how it was designed or whatever. So it didn't have bullets, but it did have a knife blade inside a of it. A fake gun with a real blade? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Right. What were y'all thoughts on this, man? When y'all heard about this this morning? First of all, Chappelle is a national treasure. So whatever we got to do to protect Chappelle. Yeah. We got. We can't let that one go. I think public execution. Oh, yeah. kill him! Kill him. Oh, why I wish just we was in shoot the him in the middle days. of the street. Look, you know what I mean? Let the lions. Yeah. Yeah, let the Shame. Lions. Throw Shame. rocks at him. Stone him. Let the lions out. There's so many questions. How did you get into this event like that? You um, bought a ticket. No, they have, but don't they got? No, but how you get in there with a metal detector, a gun, yeah. knife, comedy? You got a gun yeah. and a knife. And then how did you get onto the stage? Like the security that's supposed to be there, like. It's Chappelle. I'm just glad he didn't have an iPhone gun because if he had an iPhone gun, it would have been over. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't even know about the iPhone gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do they have a Samsung gun? Too? Probably, <laughs> not. It probably doesn't work that good. It's two green bullets. Cause I want me down, I get it. Hey, did I keep winning? What's up, everybody? Appreciate you tuning in to Fuck Your Feelings Podcast, the greatest podcast that's ever existed. Make sure y'all hit that like, follow, subscribe button wherever you tuned in to podcast. Hey man, let's get into it. What's up everybody, it's your boy Justin Hyatt. Welcome to Fuck Your Feelings, the greatest podcast that ever exists, man. We got a phenomenal, phenomenal episode, man. I'm excited, man. We got BT Kingsley. We got Brooklyn Jones. Hey. We got Craig Smith. God! <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Well, we were just talking about, before we started, like, what you were saying uh, about just like, uh, podcasting and like how we don't need Hollywood if you got a successful podcast system going on. Well, man, at the end of the day, if you have enough focused individuals with a following, you can start your own conglomerate like CBS, like ABC. Yeah. You just got to have enough focused, unselfish individuals who are all just consistent. You know oh, we're going to get to this Chappelle shit too, but yeah. keep talking. Keep and then <laughs> also from an artist's perspective, it's the best way to build a point of view and come up with material. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. the stage is restricting because of the minutes you can be up there, the time, who's on before you, who's on after you. So this really gets, gives you an opportunity to really dig into how you really think about shit. You, you can know? really flush out a full idea. Most definitely. Absolutely. And then it translates to the stage. I literally have taken stuff straight from the podcast to the stage and murdered with it. Damn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So the laughs and the comments and the... And and people come like that actually translates. It's really that it's real people. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So it works, man. It it makes our job a lot easier. You don't have to hit a bunch of mics like you used to. Right. You don't have to do all that, man. This is this is this supplements a whole lot of things, man. See, and that's, that's how you get the best material from conversations. Like you don't just sit down and be like, I'm gonna write some jokes. Like, right. No, right. it comes through conversation. Do that pose again. I'm hey. <laughs> gonna write some all jokes. Right. <laughs> 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 the Velociraptor joke right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I agree with that. I never thought about doing that because I've said funny things on podcasts, but I've never thought to write it down and then take it to the stage. Right. And that's something that I need to start doing the more of these uh, podcasts I'm doing. Most like, definitely. Yeah, you, I get a fair amount of material by literally just talking to humans. Like I'll tell comments, like if you're in a writer's block, Go kick it with your boys. Right. Like, go kick it with some some non-industry, some civilians. Right. And, like, because, yeah. uh, man, I'm notorious. If you my homeboy, hey, that's all my shit, bro. Right, right. You, right. Ain't, your, you ain't getting on stage. Just let me get. What you said? Your girl did what? <laughs> so my girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you how do you handle that if you're hanging out with your homeboys that are comedians and y'all both have like a funny conversation? Like, who gets it to go on stage? It's like, whoever called it, I'm taking it. Yeah, yeah. Or whoever it's, said yeah, it. And normally, if, if if you mark it in the conversation, it's like, hey, yo, can I get that? Like, normally, yeah. people will just ask for it. But like, I but I, I'm saying specifically, like, if you got a writer's but go talk to non comics. Like, yo, right. you know yeah. your family and friends that's just around your crazy uncle, all that shit. Like. Oh, that's valuable shit. Right. Yeah. My boy, Yo. swear he made me funny. Let you me don't want to get too <laughs> comic. My boy. He was oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was at a show givens. one time and it was right before we went on stage and I was talking to another comic and I cracked the joke and she went on stage and said the joke. Mm. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, like right after I said it, she went up there and said it. I'm Did like, she shut you out? Hell no. <laughs> oh, that's no. She yeah, said it like, you don't <laughs> want to get too comic -y. That was wild. Yeah. It, it, when you start telling jokes about going on auditions, and that's right. too comic -y. Absolutely. This is it's not this, relatable. This is yeah. what I do in a conversation. When I, if I say some shit funny and I know I kind of started that premise, I'm like, oh, I'm going to write that down. 
Mm. Yeah, that, that's the automatic. That's my shit. Yeah. yeah. If I see you say my shit, yeah, you yeah. have some issues. But if you I'm have like a that. point of view, like for me, I don't really worry about people stealing because I have a point of view. That's true. So too. if you steal it, it's deep water. Yeah. I'm gonna say some shit so crazy that you're gonna be terrified. <laughs> right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you follow me if you want, nigga. It's yeah, all it'd, be, it'd be too many layers. Or like for for me, I've been trying to write from stuff that like literally irritates me mm -hmm. or conversations that I could have ongoing for a long time. It's like, like you said, like it'd be like a lot of layers to the onion. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's yeah. a great tactic. And also to, for me, the reason I love podcasting is because I feel like the paper that we write on is a prison. It's a perimeter. And a lot of times we get writer's block because we get locked into the perimeters of that paper. Mm. We forget there's a world outside of that and com being conversational on a podcast that just whatever's in the air, whatever's in the ether, that's what we grab it. Absolutely. Straight up. Absolutely. I never thought of that. Shout out to Chris Smith. Chris Smith, if y'all don't know, does roast me on all death, bro. I told him the other day, I ran into him about a month ago at a comedy chateau. I was like, bro, who knew roasting was like your secret <laughs> weapon skill set? Like, yeah. I would have never thought of that. Cause I seen I seen Craig starting out at open mics. And I was like, I would have never known. But now every time I look at him, I'm like, he's thinking some deep evil shit <laughs> about all of us. And he's just playing with his uh, kitty gloves on when he's talking to us. Yeah. Because if he wanted, go ahead and roast me right now. What would you say? Oh, what would you say? I could tell by your size that God uh, shushes you when you pray to him. <laughs> Niggas, I don't know what parameters niggas roasting. He's not roasting here, nigga. He's roasting yeah. from an angle you didn't see. It was yeah. like, nigga, what? And it all makes sense in the perspective. It makes sense. Nigga. See, I don't yeah. even want to go. I, 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 would, I would say to Craig, he looked like an unemployed bus driver. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, okay, that's yeah. all I got. That's, I'm yeah. not a roaster. I'm I'm not a roaster. I, don't, I don't want no. I don't want no smoke, Craig. Yeah. Let me tell you what I love about Craig. I mean, uh, about BT. BT funny man. I told BT a long time ago he was getting a little he was getting a little overweight. Yeah. At one point. He was a little he was getting a little too too big. And I told him, I said, bro, you are a fucking star, BT. Yeah. I said, you have it in you to be the black Chris Pratt. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all remember Chris Pratt was a little chunky. Yeah. And then he got super in shape. But I'm like, bro, you can do that shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. So I always tell uh fucking BT that he's a star. And then I'm gonna tell you one one last thing too. BT opened up for me. Uh, the day I booked MacGyver, BT mm. was with me. We was at the Flappers in Claremont. Yep, yep, yep. And I performed that weekend. BT opened up for me. BT was killing. I, I don't know what jokes I was doing at the time. <laughs> and, I, I, and I heard I heard a woman tell BT, she was like, you were funnier than the hell. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, you heard it? Uh -huh. Oh, that's funny. But I'm going to tell you what's so fire about that. This is what I tell this people. This is what I tell people, though. I, I, I had a good sense. But this is what I tell people, though. If someone don't come up to, if you're featuring for somebody mm. and somebody don't come up to you and tell you that you're funnier than the headliner, you're not ready yet to be a feature. I agree. Uh, that's facts. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I had me, well, I wouldn't say open, but he, I did a show a couple of years ago, my first time ever headlining or officially. After you, yeah. And he put pressure on your boy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I still did well, right? I'm no, murdered. you rock, bro. I'm murdered. Both y'all rock. I was there. Yeah. yeah. But he, what I saw on stage was, let me show this nigga what this is really about. <laughs> like, my nigga really putting pressure on me right now. And I did my thing, but I, I enjoy that about you because B, uh, BT is one of the most competitive dudes in a respectful way. Like, I never heard him speak bad on another comedian. Right. I never heard him say a negative word about anybody else in comedy, but he still has that energy like, nigga, I'm here to be the nigga. Right. It, it, like, well, one, when, when these shows are happening, I was like in, in feature rhythm because mm. I was I was touring for Don D. Security at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. So I was doing like a lot of cities and a lot of shows at the time. So it was like, oh no, I know exactly. You said 15, I know exactly what 15 to 20 like to go to in those parameters. And like I be feeling comfortable when it's it, 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 for, fuck it, man. Fuck your feelings. When it's niggas that's funny, I'd be like, oh man, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Like I can just go get loose and I know you know y'all gonna rock whatever, but it's like Sometimes, bro, you know, you've been in a situation, you be like, all right, man, this nigga, man. 
<laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be, it, it, and it wasn't that with y'all. It's like, like when, when it's us, it's like, oh nigga, I know, I know, Greg gonna be grand, no, just gonna be raised. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the niggas is hilarious. It's like it's easy. But yeah, it's it makes like, your job easier when the other comments are funny too. You man. gotta work harder if you go up after somebody that bomb you. Like, yeah. now I gotta bring everybody back. Yeah. I didn't did one in the weekends, bro. Where like the the club, the city, book whoever there. I've I've done it with two times. I've done yeah. it when it's the James James ass nigga. James James is the is the hilarious comic in the city. I just made the shit up. <laughs> right, James, but James 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 James, up James is the is the nigga in the city that you don't know him, but everybody else know him. They know oh, all his little got kids. You. He's just a random ass nigga in some off brand ass city, and you go to do your show. He's like, hey man, can James James get like? <laughs> Like five minutes, he go and say, that, "Hey James, hey James, James, James. Uh, like that uh, nigga uh, be uh, uh, murder." You're like, "What the fuck was that?" Uh, I've had it where it was like, "Okay, this is gonna be a a, a rough weekend," <laughs> and I've had it where it's like, "Niggas just starting, bro," and it was like pulling teeth. So when I'm up there, they're just there has been so much bullshit on the show. We're like in L.A. where it's like people are doing a little bit of time, and you kind of oh now that I can bust them open. Right. It's like, nigga, you the headline. It's like, nigga, this is gonna be a uh, no, no, we ain't seen bullshit all night. Don't matter what you say, you on bullshit too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, 30, 15 minutes into the set, I got y'all, but I started off on fire. Yeah, right, bro. Right. Hey, I, I remember I used to uh, feature for Atheon, like 2014. And bruh, some of them hosts, the local hosts, mm. they were bombed. They, I'm talking mm. about these niggas was up there doing dramatic monologues. <laughs> that's what, that's what, I'm like, are y'all doing Shakespeare? What the fuck are yeah. y'all talking about right now? And then AP ought to be like, go get them, just oh, God. And I would have to go out there, and I would have good sets. But you, you feel like damn, you gotta fix it, <laughs> gotta yeah. fix it, bro. Yeah. I got, hey man, let's get, let, we gotta talk about this shit, the Chappelle. That shit fresh, 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 bro. Yeah. The Chappelle. So some random dude ran up on stage. That shit's crazy. Tackled Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl. He had. They said the gun wasn't real. The gun was a, a replica gun that in a knife blade. Cake would come out of it, so that's how it was designed or whatever. So it didn't have bullets, but it did have a knife blade inside a of it. Fake gun with a real blade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Right. He brought, probably made that. He brought he brought a, a knife and gun to a wrestle fight. I mean, <laughs> wow. Nigga pulled out that bitch like, click click. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, what the fuck is that? I would have been scared as hell. Like nigga, what kind of gun knife? <laughs> Dude, shoot blades or shoot right, shoot blades. That's, That's scary. A, a vampire gun. <laughs> yeah, right. Little, Dracula. What was y'all thoughts on this, man? When y'all heard about this this morning? First of all, Chappelle is a national treasure. So whatever we got to do to protect Chappelle, yeah. We got. It. We can't let that one go. And yeah. they did. They beat his ass. I saw them rolling him out on the stretcher. That nigga almost. Oh yes. Ass. Oh, it was right. like yeah. it looked like when you got your little Barbie doll. You take take it apart. <laughs> you try to put it back together. You put the arms on the wrong side. See, that they dude didn't was do enough. Up. I think public execution. Oh yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Why I wish we was in shoot the, him in the middle days. of the street. Look, yeah. Yeah. Let, let the lion. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Let the Shame. Lion. Throw Shame. rocks at him. Stone him. Let the lions out. Yeah. Stab him with his knife gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, he looked like a chicken wing. Yeah, he was like this. I was like, damn. But this is this is the crazy thing, man. This is how much favor Chappelle has over his life. That shit could have went a different way. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. dude could have had a real gun with real bullets in it. Yeah. And he could have ran up and just shot Chappelle in the head. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or he could have went up and stabbed him how they do in the UK. Yes. You know, they don't got guns in the UK. Hey, I saw you, Mike. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. My thing is, where was security? <laughs> like, why was he able to get that get close to him? How did he get on the stage? Right. That, that's a, they should have caught him before he got up there. Bro, this is a Hollywood... Well, there's so many questions. Number one, how did you get into this event like that? Don't they have? You um, bought a ticket. Don't they have? But don't they got? No, but how you get in there with a, a gun yeah. knife? Comedy. You've got a gun yeah. and a knife. See, they don't be paying attention. Right. You got a. How you get in there with a gun knife? Gun like, how you get in there with a gun? They knife? probably treating them guns just like they the treat stage? the COVID test. You know they have iPhone <laughs> guns. Yeah. They got iPhone guns. I've seen that. Yeah. They have iPhone guns that are actual guns. They look like iPhones. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And they. they I one, gotta get one or me two one shots of those. Yeah, I've, I've seen those. Yeah. I've seen them, but I don't know. And then, how did you get onto the stage? Like the security that's supposed to be there. Like nigga, it's Chappelle. Yeah. Like it's a Hollywood boast. That's a big ass stage for a nigga to get all the way close enough to touch him. Yeah. Straight up, they wouldn't have got. They didn't get to. Uh, they almost killed Lil yeah. Uzi Vert, nigga. Right. Trying to, try to perform with Dark, nigga. They got to him quick. I'm just glad he didn't have an iPhone gun because if he had an iPhone gun, it would have been over. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't even know about the iPhone gun. <laughs> yeah. oh, Do they have a Samsung gun? Too? Probably. <laughs> yeah. it probably doesn't work that good. It's too green, boy.
Hold me down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back, it's tempting.